Hello and welcome everybody to this tutorial. A lot of people told me we had a problem with connecting MySQL to database, uh, to MySQL database using the GUI interface or let me say the persistence ABI in the pins. So I'm here just to show you how to fix that. So we have a lot of commenters and uh, I received a lot of messages about this so that that's why I decided to make uh, this tutorial. Um, so let's begin guys with this uh, quick fix to uh, show you how what is the trick in order to make uh, this uh, to be successful. Uh, first thing you need to go to NetBeans and create a new project and create a new form as I, as, as I did here. So I got a main form and uh, I just went to my PHP my admin. So you got just go to PHP my admin databases and create a new database DB123 here click enter go to the database here create a table student um, so we let, let me just insert an ID here and here just put a name and uh, integer var car 255 okay be careful here when you make the table make sure do not put this attribute uh, do not leave this without putting this to order increment primary key. If you didn't do this, you will receive a problem with creating the persistence API to generate the entities for you and create the connection with database. Make careful and be careful to be uh, in the safe side when you do this step to make index as a primary, put the index as auto increment. All right. So that's th this is the main reason that uh, th that this might not work with you, uh, you know, th and that's why a lot of people face the problem because they didn't put this as a primary key and they didn't make it auto increment. Okay, just save it. So we got a table with student and let me just fill and put some data. Go new. Uh, let's just name here. AhmadNasir.com and uh, let me just say okay so we just want to insert this uh, twice click go again S student so we get two values here now I need you to go to beans services we didn't have a MySQL connection so we just go to databases uh, register MySQL server we got a localhost root and uh, uh, pretty much this is fine just click OK click OK here so I register MySQL server I need to start it so first thing you just need to connect with the MySQL server so now it's started now you can go to database here DB123 this is our database click connect type OK OK again go down you notice here we got a connection with MySQL server we got the connection to our database you got table we got this table alright now we need to drag this table and create all the connection and the model for us so just select this table drag it to the form you got this link or binding icon in the form so that, that, that means we are gonna create and generate all the stuff so just drag and drop that to the form now you can see we got uh, the you know the entity manager here uh, the student query everything is imported to the form and if you try to run this try to run it alright alright so we got a, a problem here in the because we need to drag this service into uh, not the form we need to drag uh, you know the, the, we need to drag this into a table so just make sure to bring a table here G table alright bring the data and just put the data put the connection icon here into the table so as you can see here we just generated the ID the name the address for um, but notice here I created a database before the name of that database was we just got ID name and address but 
here we just put an ID and a name but here we just we got ID name and address and that that's because we need to refresh the NetBeans but let me just try and refresh this see what you got okay so now let's see the problem we got a problem because this is an old connection okay we need to delete disconnect from this server and delete actually this connection and delete the MySQL from here disconnect it and after that we need to delete it alright so make sure all the time to uh, be careful about this uh, let me just go back to NetBeans So, you know, it's sometimes it's buggy, but okay, let me just create a new project, Java project, click next, finish. Alright, so we've got this new Java application here. Let's go to Java application, create a new G frame form. Let's go to the new G frame form here and go to services. To MySQL, uh, so we need to create a new connection to MySQL. Okay, test the connection. All right, type next and type finish. So we get this connection, but we didn't. We don't have a register server, so we need to register MySQL server. And double click in our database connect to it you're gonna receive a message this is already uh, defined so if we go here we got not this one this one we got the registered connection so you can select the table drag it here but don't drag it unless you put the table so first thing you just need to bring a table G table from here drag it and drop it on the form bring a student table drag it over the form alright so this requires some time we have uh, some processing now you can go projects to new G frame run it and you gotta see the data so this is pretty much fine so this is all the story guys I know um, you need to make sure and follow all the steps that we done here to just be systematic and uh, sometimes you need to sometimes you need to restart it means in order to get everything done so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and join us on ahmadnasir.com and see you in the next video thank you